Hi guys, Yas here with another solved problems in electrical circuits. Today we are going to find Thevenin's and Norton's equivalent circuits for the circuits seen from the right hand side terminals, ports. Before we start, please remember to rate this video, subscribe to my channel and get notifications when I post a new video. Please help the channel by sharing videos and telling your friends about it. Also, I have a free ebook on nodal analysis that you can download it from my website, sold-problems.com. It is very popular and actually has been already downloaded more than 200 times. So stay also tuned for more ebooks by subscribing to my channel. I'm going to post the link to the nodal analysis ebook on the description of this video. For this circuit that we're going to solve it today, I have a PDF version of this problem, solution of this problem that you can download it from my website. Check the video description for the address of the, of the PDF file. You can print that one and make your notes while watching the video. There is a space there for notes that you can leave your notes there for yourself. And also please leave me your comments on how I can improve this PDF file or also in general like these videos. Okay, now let's start about uh, solving this problem. So we want to find the Thevenin and Norton equivalent circuit for the circuit. And it says that R1 is actually 5 ohms. R2 is 3 ohms. And IS is 2 amp. The circuit has two resistors, one current source and one dependent voltage source, Vx. Since we have a dependent source, the only way to find Tevenin and Norton, or Tevenin or Norton equivalent of the circuit is to find the open circuit voltage and closed circuit current, short circuit short circuit current so if we didn't have the dependent source over there there was an easy way to find the r thevenin like resistor thevenin resistance but here we, we we need just to solve kind of two circuits one of them to find the voltage uh, open circuit voltage and one of them to find the short circuit current so the way on for open circuit voltage it looks like this circuit here so it's the circuit without any change we just need to find this vc over here voltage open circuit voltage so here you should note that since there is no connection from this port over here uh, no connection here there is no current passing through this r2 so this ir2 is zero because no current can pass through this point and to solve the circuit let's write the kvl for the left hand side loop assuming that ir1 is defined from left to right you can define it the way that you want Let's define it this way, IR1 from left to right. If you define it that way, that way VR1 is this way to make the, uh, to use the ohm loss. So the port that current is entering to resistors, you assume that one, the positive current, if the, you assume it that way, then you can write VR1 equals R1 multiplied IR1. If you assume it the inverse, like the reverse of this, then it's going to be minus R1 uh, multiply I R1. So it's usually easier to define it uh, this way. So here we have, let's start from uh, this point over here. Let me bring the circuit for this guy. So this circuit here. Let's start from this point, this node over here, and go uh, clockwise over here. So what we have plus Vx, because we are entering from the plus side. 
and IR1 is here, and this is VR1, so plus IR1 multiplier R1, then we are in this point here. Now we need to go through this VX. Since we are entering from the positive terminal, we just go plus VX. Now we are in this node over here, which is the same node as the one that we started. So we can say equals zero. So if we simplify this one, what we have here, two VX equals minus R1, IR1, or Vx equals minus R1, IR1 divided by two. But what is IR1? So this current here, IR1, it's actually exactly same as IS, this current source enforcing this current in this line to be IS and that's the same wire as the one passing through R1. So what we have here IR1 is actually equals IS. Actually you could just instead of defining IR1 just use IS directly. That would be even easier but at first you can just define IR1 and solve the problem using that. Then later that you feel confident enough, you don't need to define IR1 and you can just directly use the current uh, of the current source over there. And we know that IS is given is 2 amp. And we replace this one. Now we get VX equals minus 5 volt. We have R1, IR1. So minus 5 volt we have over here for Vx. But we need to find Voc. What is Voc? Open circuit voltage. Since there is no current passing through R2, as we said, like this terminal is open over here, you can easily see that Voc is actually same as Vx over here. It's exactly the same. But if it's not that clear for you, you can write KVL here in this loop over here. Write a KVL for this one. You go, let's start from this point here, like this node over here. We start from this point. So what we have, we have Vx over here from negative terminal. So minus Vx plus R2, IR2, then we are in this point here, we, we came to this point, then to this point, now we need to go through this, and the voltage over there is plus VOC, now we end up in this terminal, and it's the same node as that one, so we can say equals zero. One may say that there is no like element from, let me clean this a little bit here. So one may say that when we are writing KVL in this loop, there is no element here, there is no resistor or anything. How you can write KVL here? Doesn't matter, you define the voltage over here as VOC, that's not known, you wanna find that one. So from this node to this node, in KVL, you use the voltage doesn't matter if there is element or there is not. And also, we said like IR2 equals zero because this wire over here is not connected to anything, so current cannot pass through this. If we replace that one, you get VOC equals VX. So now it's clear that open loop Open circuit voltage is equals to Vx actually, and that's that gives us Voc equals minus five volt. I have seen students that they struggle like now where we get minus here. Uh, like, do we need to change like this? Uh, 
plus minus over here. No, you don't need to do anything. You don't need to go that far. You find the value VOC equals minus 5 volt. And that shows that like the potential on the negative sign that you defined is actually higher than the one in positive sign. But that's fine. You don't need to change anything. You just keep it like minus 5 volt. And that's it. You don't need to, uh, to care about that one. So we find VOC. The next thing that we need to find is the short circuit current. Short circuit current means what? Means that you connect those two terminals, like here. And current passing through those is the ISC or short circuit current. We need to solve this circuit and find ISC. So we find VOC above. Now we need to find what is uh, ISC. What do we have here? We have a circuit with two loops. It's very important that in finding ISC, you don't use anything from the circuit above, like the one that you use to find VOC. Now you have a completely different circuit. It has different currents, voltage everywhere. So forget whatever we got, any value, any current, any voltage, previously when we were solving the circuit for or to find VOC. This is completely new uh, circuit and you need to solve it separately and find ISC. So do not use any value from VOC analysis. What we can use here, you can use like mesh analysis here, like mesh current. So we have uh, two meshes over here. Let me bring it here. Kind of like two loops here. You can say I1, I2. Right. But you should know, like you can use I1, I2. There's nothing wrong with using those two. But what is I1? I1 is the current of the mesh. That means that that's the current of the part of the mesh that is not shared with any other mesh, like the current of this current source and current of that R1. But what is the current of the current source? It is already, we know that it's IS. So I1 is actually is IS. What is I2? You can use I2. I2 is the current of the mesh, which is part of the mesh that's not shared with any other mesh, any other loop. So here, what is not shared? R2 is not shared, and this part is also not shared. So I2 is kind of current of the resistor, R2, or the current short circuit current. Actually, this current over here is exactly the same as I2. So I2 is ISC. So you don't need to use a separate uh, I1, I2 for the one. You can just go ahead and use IS and ISC for the uh, your mesh analysis over here. For the left side, like this IS mesh, let's write KVL starting from this point going in this direction. What we have, we have plus Vx, then we have R1 multiply IR1, this is IR1, and as I said, that means that Vr1, you can define it this way and use the Ohm laws, and instead of writing plus Vr1, I'm just going to write directly Ohm's law, so R1 multiply IR1. Then we have now we were here, we wrote this guy over here. Now we, we are in this node over here. We got all to this point. We need to go through this and that's plus Vx. We are entering from the uh, positive terminal as defined over there. And we end up like at the same node as that we started. So we can write 
equals zero. And what is IR1? Similarly, IR1 is nothing uh, except the current passing through R1, which is exactly the same current of this current source. There is no other current coming here. Like if we had another, let's say, IX coming here, in that case, that would be different. But here, there is nothing else. So IR1 has to be just IS. Okay, now we can do, so IR1 equals IS, and that's 2 amp. It's given. We replace it, so plus Vx or Vx plus R1, which is 2 multiply, sorry, 5 or multiply 2 amp plus Vx equals 0. And solve this one, and you get Vx, how much? minus 5 volt. Now we need to find ISC, short circuit current. We need to write uh, uh, KVL. Actually you can write KVL here uh, for the right hand side loop. Let's just start writing. Let me clean like this part, the left hand side. We're done with that part. So what we have here, let's start from this point going in this direction. We have minus Vx. Now we are in this point. We want to go that way. Plus R2 IR2. So R2 multiply IR2. And now we are in this point over here. We got to this point, this node, but that node is exactly the exactly same node as the one that we started. So there is no other element. There is no voltage drop from uh, this point that we got over there to this, like from this point to this point, voltage is the same. There is no element. It's connected to each other. So you can write equals zero. But what is IR2? IR2 is this current. Again, this is exactly the same as ISC because this is connected to this. There is nothing else coming to this node. So IR2 is exactly the same as ISC. Now we replace this one. We have Vx minus minus 5 plus what is R2? It's 3O multiply. IR2 is ISC equals 0, and that gives us ISC equals minus 5 over 3 amp. Similarly, here you don't need to change the current direction. You don't need to go here and say, oh, I got negative. Let's change this one to this side and make this positive. No, just don't play with those one, those ones. Minus 5 over 3 is another number, nothing wrong with that. You find ISC, you find V, A, O, C, open circuit voltage, you, or you find the short circuit current. Now you have everything that you need to write the Thevenin and Norton equivalent. So V, O, C, we find minus 5 volt ISC we find minus 5 over 3 amp. And we need to find the Thevenin resistor, which is resistance, which is RTH equals to VOC over ISC. And that's minus 5 over minus 5 over 3. And that is 3 ohms. Okay. Now that you have this, you basically you have everything that you wanted. You can write the, you can, uh, uh, you can just show the Thevenin equivalent circuit. This is the Thevenin equivalent circuit. VOC is minus five volt, and RTH equals three O. So this. 
circuit is exactly the same as the main circuit that we had and can be replaced with, with that circuit everywhere that we need. Similarly, if we go with Norton's equivalent network, which is like uh, using the current source, now instead of VOC, we need to use ISC. So ISC is the Norton current actually. And a, a, similarly, our Norton resistance is the same as Thevenin resistance and it's 3 ohm here. So, please let me know if you have any question about solving this problem. Also, think about like after going through and understanding all the steps that we went through to solve this problem, assume that you have a two volt source connected to the to this uh, original circuit that we had like this circuit over here that we had assume that we connect a two volt voltage source here find this ix what would the, be the value of course you can use you can analyze like solve the main circuit like this circuit over here or since we find the equivalent circuit it's easier you use like Thevenin or Norton uh, circuit like solving that Finding this Ix over here is exactly the same as solving this circuit 2 volt and finding this a Ix. This Ix is exactly the same as that Ix. Even you can use the Norton one. So, because this is exactly equivalent for Norton, you put Two volt over here and you find Ix. This should be even easier than Thevenin because here you have the voltage across the resistor. It's two volt. This volt, this is like, it's easy to see like this two volt over here. Then you can find like this current over here. What is the current? Two volt over three ohm. And you find this current. Now, you have this current which is minus 5.3 you have this current you should be able to find this ix easily yes please find this ix and leave uh, leave it in the comments below check for com uh, in comments for the others answer and let me know if you have any question thank you very much and Please uh, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and check my website. Thanks.